After spending time speaking with the trainers of the Deepwater Temple, I was told to talk to Deloria Mossarell about a task. Hail. Hail. You appear to be a new priest or knight, am I right? Ah, I so enjoy the presence of youth within the Deepwater Temple. I am sure Prexus is smiling upon us as we speak. I am a deep water knight of Praxis. How observant. As I suspected, I shall assist you with training, and you shall assist the temple with your service. A young knight can help out by asking to convert fishermen of Kinos, or maybe even something truly great, such as requesting to protect the depths. I would find it most just to stop the poaching of our seas and convert fishermen of Kinos, no matter my distaste for Antonica and their people. So, you wish to journey to Kinos? So be it. Go to Kinos and find me a willing convert. Ask if they wish the blessing of Praxis. If so, they should snap their pole in two and you will return it to me. Do this, and be rewarded. I snapped to attention and walked away. As I traveled through Arudin, I wondered what I had got myself into. I have only heard stories of Antonica and the port town of Kinos. Soon I shall know the truth for myself. After some time, I made it to the floating dock. It was odd, as for the first time in my life, I saw what I believed to be a wood elf and a high elf. How extraordinary, indeed. I remember reading stories of these creatures of nature. When I arrived in Kinos, the smell was ghastly. I could hardly breathe. I swiftly sought out any fisherman I could find. It took some time, but I did finally find a human fisherman under the dock. Hail. Greetings, fellow fisherman. You must be a fisherman. You have the stench of one. If you are not, might I suggest this new pastime I've heard of? A bath. Do you wish the blessing of Praxis? Oh, no. Not another Praxis freak. Listen up, Aquaman. If you think a man named Merlin has any chance of giving up fishing, you have another thing coming. Go night diving in the North Pond. You might find some bait for your Praxis blessing. After speaking with the human Merlin, I thought my quest was doomed. Then I remembered what he said. At night, dive in the North Pond. While it was a fool's errand, I must finish the task given to me by Sister Masarel. Once I found the pond, I sat next to an erudite named Mordoro Finharn, who seems to have found an affinity for this city. I told him that I could not understand how one with our intellect and will would be caught in a place as this, but there was no swaying him. Finally, as night broke, I dove into the pond and found my way to the catacombs. Not long after, I was able to find a man named Bate Masterson. Hail. You know, I took up fishing because it was a nice, quiet activity. Most of all, I took it up to avoid conversing with strangers. Get the point? Do you wish the blessing of Praxis? Praxis? Aye. I once followed the ways of the Ocean Lord. I remember those days. So clear and peaceful were they. I shall make a deal with you, my friend. I shall give up fishing if you give me your guild tunic. With such a tunic, 
I shall once again be compelled to follow the peaceful ways of the Ocean Lord. I just only received this tunic, but if it will sway you from poaching our Lord's sea and back into his arms, I feel Master Willagon would be proud of me for giving this shirt to you. Nice material. I feel the ways of presence enlightening my soul. Ah, uh, enough of this fishing. Here, take my broken fishing pole and toss it in the sea. All hail, Prexus. Before I left, he gave me his fishing rod, broken into two pieces. I would be glad to finally make my way back to Erudin, at my home at the Temple of the Deepwater Nights. I made my way in and upstairs where I spoke again with Sister Masarel. I handed her the snapped pole she requested. She replied, Good work, young knight. Soon you shall carry the word of the ocean, Lord, to distant lands. For now, continue your training. As for your reward, I have these rawhide leggings which has been sitting in our vault. I hope it can be of use to a young knight such as yourself. I bowed and went to rest in the baths.